Well, welcome back. You may have noticed it's Pride Month and it's pretty hard to ignore it. The rainbow flag has been hoisted over London's Regent Street in place of Union Jack and draped from the White House balcony in place of a Star Spangled Banner, which has sparked quite a backlash in the States. Have we gone rainbow crazy or is Pride Month more important than patriotism? We'll debate this. I'm joined by Fox News commentator Tommy Lahren and in the studio, the comedian James Barr. All right, Tommy, off you go. You're enraged by this. Why? Well, listen, I wouldn't say I am enraged by it, but I am irritated, and a lot of American conservatives agree with me. Now, listen, Pride Month is not a new thing. They've been celebrating Pride Month for many, many years, and most American conservatives had no issue with it until it became forceful until it became the need for acknowledgement, the need for force celebration, the need for force validation. That's when you lost people. And then we took LGB and then we added LGBTQIA plus 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 and then we included men who dress up like women and mock women like influencer Dylan Mulvaney. And then a lot of American conservatives just said, listen, We've had enough. It's okay if you're proud of your sexuality, but why do I have to be proud of your sexuality? That's where you lost a lot of folks, and we're starting All right. to finally well, stand up Firstly, I'll say, Dylan is a trans enough. woman. Dylan is a woman, so you got that wrong. And secondly... Well, Dylan, think, was, Dylan uh, was a gay man until I last think year. Lost, well, hang on. I Dylan think, was a gay man until last year. They've transitioned. They're a woman. I think right. that we lost people right at the beginning when gay people were dying in the streets because no one was looking out for us. Mm. So actually, what we're doing right now is just... I wouldn't even use the word celebrating. I think pride is a protest. Has it been, is it a bit too much? In other words, it, do you want to... What does that mean? What is too much? In other words, I think with every campaign, bringing people with you is really important, right? The moment it looks like it's just over the top, like it's everywhere you go is pride, 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 pride. Do we need to be that... What, are, you are, about you it? are you blaming gay people for that? I mean, no. it's not awful. The company. Honestly, I don't care what sexuality anybody is. I don't think most people do anymore. Right. So, what is the problem then? Why are you so triggered Here's a, by a flag? I'll tell it's you a what rainbow problem. flag. I'll you tell mentioned you, Regent Street. I'm not triggered by a rainbow flag. I'm triggered by the fact that everywhere I go for a calendar month, everything has to be a rainbow flag. And Tom well, I'm right. triggered that everywhere I go for the entire year, everything has to be straight. Where is it? Why is straight? Where's everywhere? my straight flag? Why am I constantly Where getting straight? Where is my straight flag? Why are straight people holding hands in the street. When have you ever seen a straight? Flag. Why has Mickey Mouse got a Tell girlfriend? me one straight flag Why hanging right pushing? now anywhere in the world. Why are straight people Where pushing is the straight, straight flag? identity? Where's the straight me? flag? Everywhere. Where's my straight flag? It's everywhere. It's never it been is. a straight flag. You're a straight flag. <laughs> Let me bring Tommy back because this made me laugh. Demi Lovato has revealed she got tired of using they, them pronouns due to constantly having to educate people about it. She said it was exhausting. Well, I know the feeling, uh, Demi. She's exhausting, isn't she, Tommy? It's all exhausting. Listen, nobody cares what you choose to be. It's just this, everybody has to keep up with what you feel like today or tomorrow. Everybody has to change the way that they address you. And if somebody, heaven forbid, makes a mistake, then all of a sudden they're a transphobe and they're akin to a domestic terrorist. It is absolutely ludicrous. That's absolutely and to go not back true. To this pride, not... And by the way, how many letters just... are there now? No, no, I let what? you talk. Well, yeah, exactly. What, no, what no, is I it? let you talk. Yeah, finish, Tommy. Yeah, finish. You're right. Finish your point. Yeah, and there's another part of this whole pride thing. Listen, if it was just rainbows and love is love, there's no problem with that. If you look at a nine, a 10 of these pride events, it's grown men and grown women wearing bondage gear, smacking each other. Often children are involved to watch this spectacle. No, then. I mean, my goodness, if you want equality. Well, Sam Smith, why never mind anybody else. He's always up there. They, they, Sam is a they pronoun. Sorry, please finish. Sam used to be a he too, right? And we can't keep up with any of them. Demi Lovato used to be they, them. Demi's exhausted. Now so she's funny, a she again. Way, He's is... been a, a he. He wants to be called they, them. Stop. He'll be back to being Stop. a he again. It's so funny. They can't make their minds no, up both, what they are. Both of you are straight and you're saying you're exhausted. How do you know I'm straight? How dare you guess my sexuality? Oh, like, let's not play games here. It is exhausting. I don't remember game. Tommy uh, revealing her sexuality There are 72 you? countries in the world where it's illegal to be gay. That's why right, I ask me one question. Ask me one question. And I'm with you on gay rights to equality. Absolutely. 100% always have been. Answer one question. How many letters are there now That's in the official... That's such a pointless question. Well, how many are there? It's a flag that represents... How many I letters? I don't even know. How many are there? I don't need exactly to know. Exactly my point. I don't need to know because it's not about There the are letters. so many letters now, we can't keep up with it. It's this. not about that. It's about inclusion. Nobody for knows LGBT if they're an L, a G, a B, yes, a T, a Q. Yes, they do. And, just... and now we found out, according to... Uh, to that uh, John Hopkins uh, Medical University in Baltimore, that apparently lesbians are now no men, no man who have relationships with no men, non-men. 
non-men having a relationship what? with non-men. I, mean, I don't. I personally don't even know what you're talking about. What exactly. You know nobody knows what they're talking the about. The pride flag is there to represent LGBTQ plus people and minorities. And like all sorts of movement, like Black Lives Matter, the reason it's so loud and to quote right. you, but, exhausting. Okay. Because we need to. All right. But I do want to come are, back so next time I speak to you to the straight flag that you say exists, which I've never seen. Right. Because I want my own straight flag. Sure. Tommy, great to see you. Uh, great to see you. May Jeff. I wish you a happy Pride Month? You may. Go on. <laughs>